But that's just a quick rundown so you can understand what the differences are of the more vintage Selmer Paris clarinets. I have some pictures you want to go look at. Of course, I always have pictures, right? So here we go. This is off my website. This is the one I have on my computer, the one that's out there, clarinetperfection.com. Has most of the stuff on it. I had to convert a long time ago. What I really like, if you get a chance, look at these old Selmer PDF pictures here. This will, show, this will show you pictures of the original factory and how they expanded, a lot of information about saxophones and stuff. There's also other catalogs in here. This can show you the old emblem here and 24, the old emblem. Pictures of other clarinets here. Of the radio improved, balance tone information, pictures of the wraparound octave mechanism here in a certain era clarinet. And a lot of pictures on here, too. And the emblem was changed in about 1931 era. I forgot the exact date. Saxophone emblem was changed later on, I believe. Oh, I had the L series. The, and just for information, the deposé or brevette, whatever, that's just French for patent or somewhere like that. Oh, I love these old manufacturing pictures, by the way. These are on a um, the really, really old version from like 20 plus years ago of the Selmer Paris website. And it shows how they stored wood and everything. These big cards stored outside to let it dry naturally. The later, the, the Selmer Paris website also had their modern techniques, had videos of it. These gigantic pressure cookers, basically where they dried gigantic kilns too. Gigantic kilns where they dried the wood. Later on, they were putting these pressure cookers where they reintroduce specific oil that they wanted to it. I believe it was boiled linseed oil. I don't remember anymore. I'd have to look it up. I have information about it. But we go back looking at the uh, register vent of the Salmer 55. It was really big and it protruded into the bore a lot and i remember the 55 had a lot of resistance i remember i took out the big nut that it had and the resistance disappeared that's when i started learning more about resistance and back pressure also the bt which were the later n series center tone Got a lot of information here about the center tone of course i mentioned the video about the center tones now they evolved over time uh, the Mazio clarinet, I'm going to have a video specifically about that later on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We see a lot of information on my website. It, it hasn't been updated in a while. I'm actually planning on putting everything on YouTube somehow, someplace. We can see here's a Marchi mechanism in the clarinet. Really interesting. Back with the Series 10 variety, I believe. 10G, 10S2 pictures and everything. Here's a recital. Selmer signatures. I had a set of those in here, B flat and an A. Lovely clarinets. If you like to play jazz, this is not your clarinet. If you like to do small ensembles or an orchestra, it's, it's a really nice clarinet. The Selmer Artis. Probably one of my more favorite modern summer Paris clarinets. They don't make it anymore. Not very many people bought them. This is your modern center tone clarinet. You can really blow on this thing, and it's just amazing to me. Amazing dynamic flexibility. So a lot of information out there. This is, like I mentioned, a real quick video. That's really all I had today. I want to thank you for listening. Any questions or comments? please post them down below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Got a lot of knowledge, got a lot of life, got a lot of clarinets too, right? We'll see you next time.